now we are going into unit four geometry, okay, with the x and y coordinates. And this is a very interesting question. Let's take a look at this. Here it says a four-sided figure is formed by four points with the coordinates shown below. So you have the four coordinates here, okay? What else? Roger argues that the figure is a rectangle because it looks like one, which is something I say, don't, <laughs> don't say it, it is it just is. because it looks like it. Yeah. It needs to be written, it needs to be shown somewhere in a picture. So he says that this is a rectangle. Is, this, is he right? Is this true? Let's talk about the rectangle. What do you want? What do you need to call a rectangle? 90 Any degrees. 90 degrees, perfect. They, they must have 90 degree angles, great. They need to have perpendicular sides, okay? So this side must be perpendicular to this, which means they need to make 90 degrees. How, how, what, how about this side and this side? What do they have to be? Adjacent. The parallel. Parallel. parallel, perfect. This one and this one, this needs to be parallel to this one. And how about these two? Parallel. They need to be parallel also. So I need two pairs of parallel lines. Since this is in a x and y coordinate, how can I know about, what, what do we know about parallel slopes? If two lines are parallels, what happened to their slopes? Same. same. They are the same slopes. So if the slope of one is three, the slope of the other one is three, right? So they must have the same slopes. So let's check if they have the same slope. Since we have the graph, the fastest way is to do rise and run. So let's do the blue the two blue lines first and find the rise and run. Wow, it's the same slope. So yes, they are parallels, right? They have the same slope, so they are parallels. Let's see if these two have the same slope. Okay, I'm going to rise two. So rise two. And then I'm running to the left. Negative three. So the slope of this red one is negative 2, 3. Okay, let's see the next one. If this slope is the same, then all of them are parallels. 2, negative 3, bingo. They all have the same. This is parallel to this, and this is parallel to this. 2 and 2 minus two-thirds, minus two-thirds. So this is checked. I have two pairs of parallel lines. Now, do I have 90 degrees? In order for me to call a four-sided figure a rectangle, I need to have these two conditions. How do I know if they are 90 degrees? Perpendicular uh, uh, lines have inverse Opposite inverse um, slopes. So if the slope of one is three, for instance, the slope of the other one, if it's positive, negative, if it's three over one, one over three. So they have different signs and inverse numerator with denominator. Well, what's the inverse of two? Would be a Minus one-half. One half. Well, this is not minus one-half. So, these are not 90 degrees. It does look like a rectangle, which I keep saying, don't look at something. Oh, it looks like a 90 degree. No. It needs to say they are parallel, but they are not 90 degrees. So, which one is correct answer here? D. What did you need to know? You needed to know previous knowledge, which you have to have a lot of pre previous knowledge for this GED. 
you needed to know what you expect if I'm saying this is a rectangle. And you needed to know parallel and perpendicular. We have done a lot of this. 